Hi everyone, welcome to this machine learning and data science course and in this section we are uh, going to start with a classification project. We have completed a lot of uh, algorithms, uh, classification algorithm, we have learned about decision tree, we have learned about k-nearest neighbor, uh, random forest, SVM. Now we are going to do a portfolio project. So the aim of the project is uh, that as a data scientist you have been given a task that you have to create a model to predict the quality of a wine okay so we have a data set you can read about the data set completely okay. you can read about the data set what the input variables are fix uh, uh, fix acidity these are the columns basically the features okay fix acidity volatile acidity citric acid uh, residual sugar Chlorides, free, uh, free sulfur dioxide, density, pH, sulfates, alcohol. Okay, just read about them what uh, they give out. And at the end, you have to uh, output the quality. So basically, it is in the score between 0 to 10. Uh, but you have been given a task that you have to tell if the wine is good or bad. Just two things, either good or bad. I don't need the numbers. Okay, I don't need values in, I don't need the rating out of 10. I need uh, only one thing. Either the wine is good or it is bad. Okay, so we have to do something with the quality uh, quality column, Okay, quality feature. We have to convert it in a way that we have only two, uh, two classes, either good or bad. Okay, then here are the steps. The steps are quite similar to our regression project. Import the libraries, EDA, standardization if required, split the data set, train the model, prediction, and then evaluation. And here are some of the results. Now, when I actually trained it out in some algorithms, I found it out that the accuracy was ranging between 70 to 80 percent. Okay, so if you are using any model, any model of your choice, maybe a regression model or an K nearest neighbor model or random forest model. So the answers will vary so try it out with different models and check out uh, in which model you are getting the best solution okay and as of me the highest i got was 79 percent okay we are look uh, 79 80 percent somewhat that too i didn't do grid search i didn't do model uh, hyperparameter tuning obviously if i did a bit of hyperparameter tuning i'm sure that i would have gotten somewhere between 80 to 85 percent right so try your best out if your solution lies somewhere, if your accuracy for your model lies somewhere between 70 to 85 percent, then you have done a great job. If not, then uh, try to improve your model more. Okay, try to uh, do some uh, some different model. Maybe logistic. If you are trying logistic regression, try try out KNN or try out decision tree, random forest, any one of them, uh, or try uh, your model in each and every uh, algorithm and check out whatever so whatever model is giving out the best solution okay so try out this problem i hope you enjoy uh, you will be enjoying this uh, portfolio project of yours in our next video we are going to solve out we are i'm going to give us my solution my approach to this problem okay only if you're not able to complete your solution then only move into my solution okay let's jump into our next video